With DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World Hitting Cinemas, let me fill you in on the story so far. It all started with Burke, home of Vikings, Sheep and Dragons. This is Hiccup and our story really begins when he catches the most powerful dragon of all, Toothless. And pretty soon, they're best friends convincing Hiccup's dad and everyone else that dragons and vikings don't have to be enemies. Then all of Hiccup's friends become true dragon riders like Fishlegs, Snoutlout, Roughnut and Toughnut, and Astrid, who becomes kind of a thing with Hiccup. And just when we thought we knew everything about training dragons, Hiccup's mum shows up and changes everything again. And Drago and his alpha appear and kind of ruin everything. But luckily Toothless and Hiccup find a way to save the day. And that brings us up to right now. It's a hidden dragon world. So come inside DreamWorks with me to witness the epic conclusion of the friendship of a lifetime. My name is Dean Deblois, and I am the writer and director and executive producer of How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Can you talk us through the, the story of The Hidden World? It feels like a love story, I've got to say, <laughs> from the outset. Is, is that a, a fair observation? He's not the only one. It is a love story, yeah. There's a lot of love in the movie, and I think really at the core, uh, this movie is about gaining the wisdom to let go. And the setup of that is that Hiccup has achieved his dream. He's now the second chief of his tribe. We did it! The world's first dragon Viking utopia. Your utopia, maybe. Mine's less crowded and more... Oh! Sanitary! And it, it really is a way of life that is unsustainable. Um, he's a bit in denial about that. Why is it unsustainable? Uh, well, it's unsustainable in the sense that they're too aggressive. They're too aggressive. And their enemies know where they are. And so they're sitting out there in plain sight. They have the largest flock of dragons in the known universe, and they cannot seem to escape that spotlight. Uh, that's a problem that Hiccup's dealing with. There is an armada with enough cages for all of our dragons. <laughs> this is a new kind of enemy. Who is responsible for having wiped out all of the Night Furies. Every Night Fury, except yours, hand him over. I will never give him up. <laughs> then I will destroy everything you love. So it's a large threat that comes in a very pointed package, which is... Grimmel is a very effective hunter, and he is determined to not only track down Toothless, but kill him. To add to his problems, his every success is based upon his relationship with Toothless. He thinks he has to lead alone. Well, because his father had to. He doesn't realize the strength you have together. Do you still believe in him? Of course. I wish he did. But he thinks he's nothing without Toothless and help him realize the truth. Early on in the story, Toothless discovers a mysterious, wait up, elusive variation of his species that Hiccup oh and Astrid call. He's not fury. the only one. And, She's uh, a light immediately fury. There's a connection. And so he becomes very preoccupied uh, oh, in trying to find sorry. her again and continue this relationship. And she what you picking up on, bud? <laughs> The Light Fury! She's following us! Where'd she go? Is she made of the sky? Oh, hold on, Toothless! Well, look who it is! Uh, oh, hey, it's really nice to finally... Whoa! as well as incredible new dragons and worlds to discover, as DreamWorks visual effects supervisor Dave Walford explains. The caldera, which is basically a, an underwater volcano in which the entire ocean is spilling into, was by far the most challenging and the biggest visual effect DreamWorks has done to date. The biggest shot, I think, was 42,000 dragons. Um, that's in that cabin? Yeah, and that's the fireworms when you see all the little glowing orange things. Yeah. That, was, uh, that turned out really well. Toothless, go introduce yourself. Recognizing the importance of a mate for Toothless, Cup encourages his dragon to impress the Light Fury. Toothless has a girlfriend. So we've got various, um, various problems, and it's really, it really rests on Hiccup 
to make some tough decisions, and one of them is to leave his home island of Burke, where they have been for seven generations, and to take his people and his dragons and everything they can carry on kind of a wild goose chase quest to, uh, to find out whether or not this legend of the hidden world actually exists. Because if it does, that could be a place where he and all of the dragons could disappear off the map. We need to find the hidden world. I will destroy everything you love. Toothless, no! You're nothing without your dragon. Is to hiccup the, the, the security blanket that makes everything okay. And the realization that he made no decisions on his own throws him right back to the kid that we found the one that felt completely incapable and unworthy. Well, you're right. You're back to where you started. But I was the first to believe in you. And I have watched you doubt whether you're worthy ever since. But you know what? I am the person I am today because of you. I never told you that, but it's true. You are the bravest, most stubborn, most determined knucklehead I know. Toothless didn't give you that hiccup. He just made it easier. And now it's going to be a lot harder. So, what are you going to do about it? Probably something stupid. That's the hiccup I know. Suit up, gang. We're going to get them back. So he really has to kind of look himself in the mirror and say, you know, am I a capable, worthy human being and able to lead this tribe as, as the chief without this dragon? That's ultimately the theme that we're dealing with in the movie. Show them what you got, bud. You brought a baby to a battle? I couldn't find a sitter. <laughs> hidden world. It really does exist. Now that's a king. You're right, bud. It's time. Well, look who it is! <laughs> Not a word.